And we're back with another episode of On the Record with Tiffany and, and Kevin. Kevin. So is this official? Are we official now? <laughs> we're not just living together, trying this out. Are we just like officially paperwork and everything signed? You got papers on me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's official. All right, it's official. <laughs> I get to stay, everybody. It's official. <laughs> now y'all get to see the real me. I'm only keeping him because he drives me here in the face for the gas. Gas is hot. Gas is hot. This is how we live in Me too. Yes. <laughs> Who's this wonderful lady with us today? <laughs> this is, okay, first I got to give a couple of, I have to say a couple of shout outs to um, <clears throat> our sponsors, people who sponsored us during the one, two, three weekend. Oh, okay. Why didn't we have, why didn't we thank these people last week, Tiffany? Tell me why. Well, I had a little accident. <laughs> I was doing my part for my country at the Women's Campaign School at LBJ, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson Library. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was standing at the stop, top of the, the um, auditorium and uh, another lady was falling and she grabbed me to steady herself, took us both down. And took out my knees oh, <laughs> in the <okay>. process. <laughs> so you were up for a couple of weeks, like with your knee all up. In pain. Yeah, I'm that's still, rough. I'm still rolling, you know, on the on the. Uh, but you're here. Side. But I, that's right. But you're here. That's right. So, but I, I want to say thank you to. Um, There's a list, baby, right there. <laughs> I want to say say thank you to H E B. Mac Injury Attorneys, mm -hmm. West Care, West Care. Thank you guys for showing up. They they do some of the best work in the community. Um, I want to thank Generations Bank mm -hmm. uh, and DCI Dialysis Clinics Incorporated. Why do we work with those guys? DCI. DCI is the only dialysis uh, clinic uh, in the state of Texas that is a nonprofit, and what they do is they take the money from uh, the dialysis treatment, and they put it back into research. They oh, have given cool. over three hundred million dollars in research. Wow, I didn't know that. Money, yeah, they're they making them one of the largest funders for for uh, kidney research in the country. Okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. And then, of course, our our uh, partner partners in in the one, two, three weekend, ten. TV, mm -hmm. the African American Network Television, where they have a local feel with a global reach. Thank um, you, Tan. And uh, I believe also uh, the Grehe Foundation also participated. The uh, Grehe Family the Foundation, board. man, we wouldn't have been able to put on our golf tournament if it weren't for the Grehe Family Foundation. Mm -hmm. yeah. They came in from the beginning. Uh, gave us the seed money to do it, mm -hmm. um, which was ten thousand dollars. It's a big amount of money for uh, uh, for a golf it, for a golf tournament mm -hmm. that nobody had ever seen or heard yeah. of. Yeah, <laughs> it was our first annual tournament, wow. so they didn't know whether we, whether we were going to roll out big or flop. So, but it was, they, it was good. They uh, they gave us the money, gave us, and also let us have the golf tournament. At the at the uh, at the quarry. Yeah, so that was really good. So, and then also uh, the Tobin Centers because we had the comedy part, which was really really good. Yeah, uh, the Tobin Center was was so excellent. They, they and they it was awesome. Us. Yeah, yeah. Did you, go? you were there, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and they they let us do our our comedy part on the stage of the Tobin. Oh, we I see the comedy part. I was just there you for the first one. You missed it. Oh, yeah. she did. I was the, there uh, for the was first there. one. Yeah, she, yeah, did, the, she did the uh, the journey, as we call it. I mm -hmm. was thinking testimonials, but no, everyone said mm -hmm. journey. So if we're at a black church, we'd be giving our testimony. <laughs> 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 so that was good too. And then also the celebrities. We had Scar. Yes. I'm sorry. We had Scar Scarface is, is, is right. his performance awesome. name, but Brad Jordan is is his name. So mm -hmm. Brad Jordan, aka Scarface, was there. And Ooh. his his golf game son, is pretty Chris. good. Yeah. And he Chris, does. he has a good golf game. Yeah, and Chris. And then Bro Man, a.k.a. Yep. Uh, Reginald Ballard. And uh, Reg Reginald's wife was lovely as well. Uh, so Edith. No, I just fell in love with Edith. Yeah, so he's lucky on that. So uh, if, so if you listen to this, Reginald, you lucked out, man. Your wife is <laughs> <Yeah>. His <laughs> wife is amazing. You know what? My, I, I told his wife when I met her that she looked a lot like uh, some of my relatives. My brother was like. She looks, she looks like Shay, doesn't she? Yeah, now she looks like Shay. Yeah, she looks. Exactly. She looks like Shay. That's yeah. that's my younger that's younger sister. All right. So uh, you know, we 
We right. just so any other additional thank yous we got to get out of the way since you were since you busted your knee last week and we didn't get to do it. Well, I, I do want to thank my ride or die, you know, uh, twin flame, as she says. Um, Who is this? You don't know. No, I don't. Tell me. Lawana Chambers lost the fool. <laughs> oh, no, I can't reach him. Right, we've been married a long <laughs> time. Lawana is. All right. Lawana was there for us. Tacit growth yep. strategy. She went and, yeah, they and got. She's awesome. That's yeah. right. And so mm-hmm. did uh, Norminia showed up for us and and volunteered. That we had volunteers from the African American Chamber of Commerce come in. Yeah, it was quite a few uh, people. You know, we we just we were really 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 blessed. All right. So all right. So the, let's transition. So we. So what have, came out of this? So yeah, what came out of this? Well, what came out of this is one. Uh, Tiffany's unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> you found out. I didn't say that. Knees so buckles. anybody listening, I don't want to eat yeah, hate that mail. Part, now that part you couldn't help. Yeah. yeah that's so true. That Tiffany was used help. as a, as a, as an airbag. Crash so <laughs> so we messed her up. But we, when we when I first came onto the show, everyone knew that we were saying that hey, we are going to get in shape. Right. And so mm-hmm. uh, one of the prompt, one of the things was that, hey, Tiffany was has started talking with Sherry. Right. Because you have I don't know if you've seen her, her, her social Sherry media. Her right. Yeah, We've following each other for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Probably over yeah. a year. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know a man shouldn't ask this question, but how old are you? 57. She's 57 and she looks like this and I'm hating on her. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. I'm bro. not. I'm trying to be Sherry. I'm so trying to. Sherry you know, is going to engage with us. It is. Sherry's going to engage about, and help mm-hmm. Tiffany lose weight. So yes. Just a little mm-hmm. bit about yourself. Yes. And get healthy. Sherry's about people being healthy. Okay. I want. So how'd you get involved with, with this? Not okay. just hotties. Well. If you can have both, no, let's just, get both. Well, you are, but, but you are a hottie. That's a husband comment. But you are a hottie. I'm just going to get you healthy mm-hmm. and tone and strong. Yeah. So. so I started competing. You look amazing. Thank you. Competing in what? I started, I was doing figure competitions. That's how I really started. That's when I kind of transitioned to training, to okay. being a trainer. But I've been training consistently for 30 years though. I've been a workout buff for 30 years. Wow. But it wasn't until I started competing and women were coming up to me and asking me for advice and I was thinking, I should be getting paid for this. <laughs> because I was uh-huh. stopping in the gym and I was literally like training people because that's uh-huh. what I do. Uh-huh. And I thought, what am I doing? So then that's when I became a trainer 16 years ago. Wow. Yeah. 16 so I, years. I started off in my garage to an open field, mm-hmm. to my storefront. Okay. To an mm-hmm. open field. So mm-hmm. you were one of those people that that did. And I still, like, I still do. Boot camp. We'll go out, throw some sandbags around, and you know, well, you'll get there. Look, she's looking at me. <laughs> like Sherry. Like, she's like, no, I ain't doing all that. You, Girl, I'm, Tiffany, I'm, you will get there, baby. I'm limping, you so will we get gotta. There. All right. <laughs> you have to be limping for long. It's not going to be so sandbags today. The journey <laughs> for, for Tiffany is more you know, um, like that, it's a mindset. Mm-hmm. And I think now you finally have that mindset because we actually ran into each other last October. Mm-hmm. I actually did a radio show, an interview in the same building and I was walking out and she was coming in. Mm-hmm. And, and that's and when Tiffany's never met a stranger. We, we well, we had all, we were following each other on Facebook already, we already oh. but we hadn't <clears> seen <throat> each other in person yet. And, and I've seen Tiffany all went, of her. Are you stuff. Sherry Braxton? And mm-hmm. went, that's exactly what yes. I said. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then we acted like we knew, you know. We hugged and it was like, you know. And then we kept in touch. And she said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get with you." Now mm-hmm. she did a couple of times. She reached out to me, but your schedule yep. was crazy, so she did try. But mm-hmm. I knew that you were gonna come for me. Yeah. All I right. knew you were gonna come mm-hmm. for me, girl. So the mm-hmm. idea of this, right, is that one of the things in the in the kidney space, and I call it the kidney space, and I have to get out of that language because I always think of business, right? I think lines of business, kid so mm-hmm. Tiffany gets she's giving me the eye like it's not kidney space, right? So <laughs> in kidney care, right, one of the things that's super important is diet. 
and diet causes a lot of issues there. And so the thought behind this collaboration is that we want to show people that you that we're going to do work with. She's going to do all this stuff. Right. But then she'll also provide simple things that uh, that you can do for yourself if you're at home, whatever stage that you're in, mm -hmm. one, to lose weight. And two, a lot of the foods, right, you don't eat fancy foods, a lot of stuff you'll be able to get from HEB. And we are working with some people who are chefs. Is that the proper term? I want to say yes. who are chefs who are going to so make gonna a bunch of stuff. she's going to be getting all the big time yeah. a chef. Girl, go to HEB, get some chicken breast, <laughs> some some fish. <laughs> no, we want the chefs to make some, recipes. We want some ground, meat, some ground uh, turkey meat. We want mm -hmm. flavorful. And Can you make it flavorful? Yeah, Mrs. Dash seasoning. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how I roll. If you ask any of my clients, they're going to tell you. I have that no, too, by see, the way. And they come in every single flavor. They come in a lot. But what of if you're like me? So what if you're like not like me? But what if now, you're somebody who just like wants? My, now you sound like my. What husband. if I want some flavor and I don't want chicken breast but and you know broccoli and rice? You know that'll drive me crazy. You know what you do? Are you talking about like seasoning or just? The food? I want some food. Yeah. You can mix I want to be able up. to eat but not die. You can you can mix <laughs> it up. You can you can do like a stir fry, a healthy stir okay. fry. And you can do like and the you rice add and herbs. Yeah, there are all so natural many like fresh onions herbs and, that you can um, add. Um, you know, um, pepper. There's sage. There's thyme. I'm looking forward yeah, to this challenge. It's, it's all kinds of things. <laughs> the thing is, is you, that it, and, you, and it's who cooks? Be who cooks your mind. at the Smith household? It is. It is a mindset. So some of the things mm -hmm. you're going to see us do, right, is that mm -hmm. um, on accountability exactly that we promise is that we're going to post the times that we're working out because I'm going to be doing it too, right? And then uh, we're going to stream live uh, on Facebook. We'll do uh, Sh Sherry's uh, Facebook stream to show, hey. Tiffany and Kevin aren't just talking that trash. They're actually doing it. We showed up and we did it because uh, Tiffany has a cousin who did that. Dude, that guy got trimmed really quick. He's buffing up. Remember when Daryl Jr. did that? Mm -hmm. And so we also we can do that and inspire and people. Been, yeah. You know, Daryl Jr.'s story is really inspiring because he was 21 mm -hmm. when he went to renal failure on the side of the road. Mm. He was overweight. Yep. Uh, no, he wasn't overweight, right? I'm overweight. No, Daryl was a big guy. He was uh -huh. huge. Yeah, Daryl. Yeah. And so Daryl, you know, maintained that heavy weight for, for years. He was 21? At 21. 21. Yeah, he's my inspiration. He's 30 now, he right? Was, yeah, he's like 31 now. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time he was 27, mm -hmm. I think 27, you know, he's kind of got fully formed male. Uh, he decided to, to make some changes health-wise. Mm -hmm. Well, it, 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 it's got to hit you. And when he did, he lost 147 mm -hmm. pounds, mm -hmm. lifting weights, eating clean. He's, yep. he's a chef. He's a chef yep. on, on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, and so he... He started working out and posting yeah. his, and holding his, and, hold himself mm -hmm. accountable yeah. on Facebook because I does. tapped in and started. He does He it. got a kidney transplant. His kidney is working beautifully. Mm -hmm. He's uh, working as a. Um, He's a prison guard now, right? Mm -hmm. As a sergeant. Something. No, and he got he got promoted. Yeah, he got promoted to. To sergeant, lieutenant. 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 I follow you right. on Facebook, uh, Daryl. So I'm stalking you. Okay, Daryl. I haven't been paying attention. You're to my you. inspiration, man. But um, but he yeah he's he's doing really well. Yeah. You know, and that that you can do this, and he'd been on on dialysis for years. He did that on dialysis. Yeah. yeah, it's a life you know? change. I mean, you have mm -hmm. to, I mean, when your health is in jeopardy, mm -hmm. you have to make some changes you and you have you to, to and the thing is, is in the beginning, it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not, it's not but you have to have your mindset. Who, who are you doing it for yourself? Yes. You want to be around uh, for your kids. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. want to be healthy for your husband, and yep. you want you know yeah. you want your whole. You don't want to be a burden be healthy. on the people that so you care about. It's it's all about it's a mindset. Right. And you're gonna feel and so sticking much to it. Feeling well, better. I'm training. I'm, I'm training out right of spite because I keep telling Tiffany I'm not dying. She's not taking my insurance money, going to get a younger <laughs> man and spend my money. Oh my God, that sounds like my husband. So I am training completely out of spite. Oh my God, I'm thinking of doing. No, I. I would not do that. Yeah, anyway, they Kevin say that because I'm alive. You're, you're on. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You are. You are ready. I can tell that yeah. you're ready. Yeah. When you called me that one day, no, I called you, and then you called me, mm -hmm. and then we talked about it that Monday. And right away, you came right out and said to me, "I, I'm ready to do mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I'm ready." And you when are. you're ready, you, you, you gotta, you know. 
-hmm. And I'm not competing, but it brings the comp competitive nature in me out. But well, I got you know. two men trying to compete <laughs> against me, so we gotta beat them because it's him and Cleto. <laughs> and the food is the food is really important. The food's important. Tiffany. Yeah, I mean it's like there's gonna be days that it's you 80 are going of it is the yeah food. 75 mm -hmm. to 80, but you're gonna mm -hmm. be it's gonna be the, those day a day that you're gonna be oh, I don't want to eat another chicken breast. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat any more sway fish. I don't want to mm -hmm. eat. And then you're going to be smelling something. See, he's already cringing. So he's, you're, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Um. You're going to win. Because he's already, <laughs> he's already doing that. So it's going to be those days. And that's when you got to and the, push it back. The you thing that I want that back the, and go forward. The thing that I want to show people is that we're going to uh, we're, we're going to do this almost not almost. We're going to do this very. I, I would think it's self absorbed from my viewpoint, but I'm changing that. Is that we're going to begin to stream this and do this vlog style. So we're going to roll with that. So you're going to see this kind of stuff in real time. So it's not like oh yeah, hold on a minute, let me get the light right. Let me now we will work on the lighting and get our light it's right in our be house. Raw. So it's going to be raw. You're going to see us <laughs> no doing makeup. it right. So that's what you're going to see there. Oh, it's really going to be raw. <laughs> no so, makeup. No makeup. Now, I'm not promising be, no, no makeup. It's going to be sharing fitness <laughs> raw. All right. So let's talk about this, right? So one of the things that I really like uh, when we, we bring on guests, even about knowing about people, is their why. So tell us a little bit. Where are you from? Are you, were, you, were you born here in San Antonio? No. I'm a military brat. Okay. So my mom is from here, and but I grew up in Maryland. Okay. So I, I, what parts I, of Maryland? I, I pretty much grew up overseas. I lived. Oh. I was born in England, and we went from England to Crete to Turkey, to um, then we lived here for a while, mm -hmm. and then we went Air back Force? to Air Force. My okay. dad was um, retired Air Force, and then we went back to Maryland. I grew up. Uh, my dad was stationed in Fort Meade, Maryland, so we lived okay. in like Glen Burnie area. But my dad's mm -hmm. from Baltimore. Okay, um, and so after a brief marriage, I moved to San Antonio okay. with my parents because they wanted to retire here. And that's where I met my husband, who was okay. in the Air Force. So, uh, you know, military. You two are a perfect compliment to one another. Oh, thank you. He aight. <laughs> that's our babe. No, no, you, you good. <laughs> All right, so that's, okay. That's so, what I say about him. Yeah, he aight. <laughs> I'm gonna keep us on track here. All right, so you moved here. So what year did you move here in, in, in uh, San Antonio? Um, I moved here in 93. And that was when I started hitting it hard even more. Were you working hitting? out? With my working, working out, out because I developed anxiety mm -hmm. and depression from my first marriage. So when I moved here, the doctor, well, the doctor in Maryland said, you need to work out and you need to do more. So when I moved here, that's when I started doing mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it it was amazing. Did the, the working, working out, out help with the anxiety and depression? Yeah, I mean, you still need other things, but that's one of the things that they want you to do, to do mm -hmm. is to work out and eat right because that helped. Because if you're eating a lot of sugar, that's going to like, you know, you're going to get more depressed and you're going to have, and I was having anxiety attacks. So it just messes you up more. So I cleaned up my diet, and then that's when I got into even working out even more. So, it so was, talk, walk us through the process, right? So I, this is the part that I think people, and I always hope someone called me the other day. A lot said, of people are going yeah, through Yeah, a lot of people are going through that, depression. going through anxiety, mm -hmm. depression That's with COVID. Really and they're coming hard. out with it more mm -hmm. because it used to be, I, I was embarrassed mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell anybody. So where'd you start at? Did you just start as far as your diet, right? So let's say I'm there at the house. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm feeling the way I'm feeling for whatever reason, right? So what is what would be the starting point you would tell me to start at, right? Like you just starting off? I'm just starting off. Yeah. Right. And eating, clean up, clean out your house. Oh, you mean your, go through your and, cupboards? You mean go through clean like we're going to. Because, you know, I used to do that in Florida. When I lived in Florida, then we, I'd be we'll like. We'll have Sherry come yeah, to our because house. Because yeah, the I'll thing is, when you have covers. already, if you're buying a chicken breast and you're getting healthy food and you got all this stuff in your house. Fruit Loops and don't count as no, healthy fruit, food. No, that's fruit 15 loops. grams of sugar. That, that's a morning breakfast. I no, like, that. I like no. Fruit Loops. So when it's you, not breakfast. I told you that. <laughs> that's and not. Girls. And that's, you know, you have, well, There's and nothing, you have kids. So it tastes like. I would at least start getting your sugar, like, less than your, because I, I, I have an 11-year-old, so I really rarely give him cereal. I mean, oh. it's like, they're not going to, oh, they're not going to really care. I mean, when you think about it, you, it's just not good. 
Okay. It's just nothing. All right, so I need to get rid of my my Fruit Loops. I would. What about because my look, what before, about my, before you bring in the good food? You got to get the trash out first. Lord, I Lord, think Lord. You need to come to, to, come to <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. We'll so tra- we're gonna do this right. And go, and we need through. to get rid of. But you do have kids, so you want to. No, everybody's where, suffering. If I, that's if I you, can't eat Fruit Loops, no, nobody's eating Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> no We're done. You still have kids, so there's certain things like like my son. We have little stuff in there that he like. I mean, I, now I don't keep ice cream in the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if he wants ice cream, we go. I'll go and get the little pint. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so he doesn't even. It's it's like a norm normal thing for him because he's like you know he was talking to his friend. His friend said something. They were talking about ice cream, and he was like, "Yeah, um, my my mom and dad never have." Keep ice cream in the house. They're we, depriving we, me. We go out and get it. And what I do keep is the sugar-free popsicles in there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they're good. And my son loves them. Before he knew they were sugar-free, he was tearing them up. Then one day, he went in there and looked at the box and said, Mom, these are sugar-free. And I'm like, don't you like them? Yeah. They're good. All right, so, so you got to clean it up. All right. So we're going to have Sherry come in and get rid of my Fruit Loops. And, uh, I'm gonna be clean up <laughs> Sherry Fitness. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we start there with a the diet, right? So mm-hmm. uh, do I need anything special? Do I need to go out and buy a hundred dollars worth of X Y Z supplement that's gonna, you know, raise my blood pressure, cause me to feel lightheaded or anything like that? I mean, you know, there are things that I mean. Are you taking vitamins and? If you're taking Look at a multivitamin, I, I, I'm not taking vitamins. I got inches. Taking, I got two or three no, inches. No, 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 just multivitamins, oh. like every day. Like if you're taking yes, multivitamins and you're getting Tiffany enough, does. you know, I take a stuff that you need for energy. Okay, you can use your food. Your healthy food can be your energy. But Fruit Loops, okay. So if I don't, I don't so take re- vitamins no, and I eat Fruit Loops. loops. Everybody, Fruit Loops are don't terrible. Get rid of the Fruit Loops, everybody. Okay, they're bad. They're bad. All right, so I got vitamins. Uh, and that start there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Get your vitamins and, and, um, but you got to get rid of the trash food, the trash processed food. food. So, all right. So no, uh, what about vodka and bourbon? Did I, you know? Okay. Then I'll bring some Crown Royal. We'll just have a party. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> girl, you know, I'm being no, honest with okay. my life, right? So, so I, alcohol, I, love, I, love, I love bourbon. Yeah. And I, you know what? And I love to drink too. I don't like that, beer, but I love bourbon. And that's what I had to do because I love wine. And I love to drink, but you, you'll never see me. A lot of people didn't even know I drink because I don't, I'm not on Facebook going, here, you know, I'm mm-hmm. drinking. Cheers. You know, I don't do that. <laughs> so, you know, as a trainer, I don't promote alcohol, right. but I do love to drink. Okay. So that's where you have to, just like you'll eat a piece of cake or a piece of candy in moderation, you have to drink in moderation. When you get to that point and you're like, you know, set you, you, you have your schedule set for how you're going to eat and train. Mm-hmm. Then you can kind of get out of the box a little okay. and have that drink. You have a cheat day. Or yeah. Something. Well, no, a cheat meal, baby. A cheat meal. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany wants to fall completely off with of the bandwagon. Tiffany's like, like, what's Tiffany's the day we can like, do whatever we want to do? No, Tiffany's like, a oh. cheat day. No, it's a cheat meal. I had clients that came to me, actually, and they were, like, slow and doing – I was like, what did y'all do? What, what did y'all eat this weekend? What's wrong with y'all? Well, I had, I I had my cheat, and I was like, yeah, but you just had your one cheat meal. Oh, I cheated all day. <laughs> they no. got up for breakfast, went to IHOP, and they know you know who I'm talking about. Went to IHOP, <laughs> uh, went to lunch, had some ice cream, whatever in between. Um, went to dinner, oh, and when she came in Monday, the girl can barely move. All right, so you telling me it's probably the toughest part is going to be what the first three weeks for me, the first month when I got to sweat out all the bourbon because yeah. Tiffany bought me some really nice bourbon. Yeah, because I'm gonna and probably have and to we'll, give it away and now. We'll smell it. No, no, don't give it away. <laughs> I, pr- I have to give it away because you know I'm like no, a crackhead no. if it's in the house. But like, that's oh, where yeah, you I got to learn, Kevin. Okay, <laughs> okay that's you where you got to learn. Go. All right. you can't you can't get rid of <laughs> rid of stuff. You got to have it in there, and you got to have willpower. We got to work on that. No we, willpower. All right, now you've been listening to On the Record with Tiffany and Kevin. It's official. (laughs) (laughs) Here on 9.30 a.m., The Answer. And come on back so you can hear some more about our fitness challenge.